Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can use Midjourney Alpha. No need of Midjourney Discord server. Now we can directly generate and create images. We need to go to Midjourney website that is www.midjourney.com. We have to sign in. If you have logged in earlier, use those same credentials to log in. Once you are logged in, will be presented with this Midjourney new website and if you have got the access then it will show Midjourney Alpha here we can see imagine we can type any prompt and they have introduced a setting button which is here if we click this we see lot of new options and parameters so let's type a prompt a lion taking a selfie click on this setting button now we can see lot of options this is the image size this is the aesthetic and this is the model they have given three basic ratios portrait is 3 is to 4 square is 1 is to 1 landscape is 4 is to 3 but if we want some other ratios we can click and type here so we can add 16 is to 9 even they have provided a slider we can drag towards the landscape or towards the portrait but it will snap based on the popular ratios then this is the aesthetics stylization the dash dash stylize that we used to type in discord here we don't need to type any of these coding prompts just sliding the sliders to get the desired look and output this is the variety that is the chaos that is dash dash chaos so let's add a chaos of 10 and weirdness of 300 so i don't think we can type anything in between it will basically snap to 0 to 300 then 600 then 900 so it's a increment of 300 chaos will keep snapping with the increment of 10 stylization increment is 100 it will keep snapping after 100 point and this is the model we used to use dash dash raw these are all the versions this is the new g6 so we'll be going with the version 6 and speed, fast, relaxed and turbo. In Discord we used to add link for images. So here we can use image by clicking this plus button in front of the prompt. We can select any of the images or we can upload any image and use it. But as of now I'm not going to add any image. Let's press enter. Once you press the enter key, the mid journey will start generating the image. It will be showcased here and within that create page, it will show how much it's completed. All the settings that we have added are being showcased here. And in this create page, all the problems that we have generated in Discord will be showcased here. And you can keep continuing here without going to Discord. So these images are generated. If you hover on any of these images, you will see two options, very subtle and very strong. And if you right click on any of this image, you can like, you can hide this image, you can rerun this image. So if you rerun, it will again generate a new set of images. It's the same option that is this regenerate button. Change aspect ratio. So if you want to change the aspect ratio, you can do it from here. You can vary subtle, strong. You can upscale it subtle or creative or use this image as prompt or as image or as style. UI is very simple and very smart and easy to use. Now, you, if you want to download all these images, you need to go to archives. In archives, you can see all the images that you have generated, whether it from Midjourney Alpha website or from Discord. All the generated images will be showcased here. You can download one by one, but that's not an easy way. It will work with pressing the shift button, click and drag your mouse. If the image is selected, the thumbnail gets smaller. In that way, you will be able to understand the image is selected or not. Once you are happy with your selection, you can see the count of your selection. There are 106 images. Click this download button and it will zip all the files and download in one go. Yeah, it got downloaded here. Suppose you want to use this image as a input image. You can drag and drop it here and it will automatically add the image let's type concept art let's go to the ratio try something very wide angle so all the four images are generated so if you want to add any image that is there on your pc or mac then click on this button add that image in discord we could use any image link 
suppose you, if you want to use this image we use to copy image address then in this card we use to paste it and type the prompt you can use the same thing just paste it it will automatically add the image as the input image press enter the images are generated these are the generated images you can see a search prompt option here so whatever you have generated related to birds it will showcase here thank you so much guys for watching please do like and subscribe i'll be back with a new video please smash the bell icon to get notification i'll see you soon bye bye